Well folks, here we go. The first performance benchmarks of AMD's next generation Ryzen 7 5800X Vermeer based Zen 3 CPUs have been leaked out in the Ashes of Singularity database because no one can seem to figure out how to unplug the ethernet cable when they're running this benchmark so it automatically uploads it for all of us and you guys to get a taste of what's coming. Now the benchmarks have of course been spotted by none other than Tum Apisac and show that AMD's upcoming 8-core CPU will absolutely demolish Intel's fastest 10-core chip when it comes to a price to performance metric. More on that one later as far as the price side goes, but the performance was measured in Ashes of Singularity benchmark at the 4K Crazy preset. Now while the 4K tends to be more GPU bound scenarios, the Ashes of the Singularity benchmark does include indicators for CPU performance metrics. The AMD Ryzen 7 5800X is one of the two Ryzen 5000 series Vermeer based chips that are confirmed to be a part of the launch lineup so far. We've already talked about the Ryzen 9 5900X recently, which is a higher end 12 core 24 thread part, while the Ryzen 7 5700X would replace the similarly priced Ryzen 7 3800X. Now from the benchmark, the chip is listed as an 8 core part with 16 threads. So the core configuration hasn't changed from its predecessor. The fundamental changes for Zen 3 would come in the form of new architecture for higher IPC gains, a redesigned CCD and cache structure, higher clocks, and improved efficiency. Now the clock speeds for the chip weren't reported within the benchmark, but the chip scored 5,900 points, which is on par with an Intel Core i9-10900K running its stock. Now both setups were running the GeForce RTX 2080 graphics card, now what's more important here is the CPU frame rates, as you can see the Ryzen 7 5800X completely crushing Intel's Core i9-10900K in terms of maximum frame rate. Now in the normal batch run, the Ryzen 7 5800X delivers up to 22% higher frame rates than the Intel Core i9-10900K and 16% average in all benchmark results. As we do not know the final clocks for the Ryzen 7 5800X just yet, but we do know that the 10900K does feature more cores and threads and even runs at clock speeds upwards to 5.3 GHz. Now, previously leaked OPN codes did point out up to a 4.6 GHz clock speed for an engineering sample, which is the same boost clock as the Ryzen 7 3800X. Now, since the Ryzen 7 3800X operates up to 4.6 GHz boost clocks, we might be getting somewhere close to 4.6 to 4.8 GHz with Zen 3 based parts. Now, considering if AMD prices its Ryzen 7 5800X in the same ballpark as the Ryzen 7 3800X, somewhere around 350 to 400 US dollars, that would mean a big win for consumers as they'll be getting great performance that's equivalent to a 500 plus dollar US chip at a much lower price point. Now, additionally, the AMD Ryzen 5000 series CPUs will be using an enhanced 7 nanometer plus process node, which we can expect higher efficiency, resulting in much lower power draw from the competing Intel chips. For more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.